The Kelvin Helmholtz mechanism is an astronomical process that occurs when the surface of a star or a planet cools. The cooling causes the pressure to drop, and the star or planet shrinks as a result. This compression, in turn, heats the core of the star planet. This mechanism is evident on Jupiter and Saturn and on brown dwarfs whose central temperatures are not high enough to undergo nuclear fusion. It is estimated that Jupiter radiates more energy through this mechanism than it receives from the Sun, but Saturn might not. The latter process causes Jupiter to shrink at a rate of 2 cm each year. The mechanism was originally proposed by Kelvin and Helmholtz in the late 19th century to explain the source of energy of the Sun. By the mid-19th century, conservation of energy had been accepted, and one consequence of this law of physics is that the sun must have some energy source to continue to shine. Because nuclear reactions were unknown, the main candidate for the source of solar energy was gravitational contraction. However, it soon was recognized by Sir Arthur Eddington and others that the total amount of energy available through this mechanism only allowed the sun to shine for millions of years rather than the billions of years that the geological and biological evidence suggested for the age of the Earth. Kelvin himself had argued that the Earth was millions, not billions, of years old. The true source of the sun's energy remained uncertain until the 1930s, when it was shown by Hans Bethe to be nuclear fusion. Topic. Power generated by a Kelvin-Helmholtz contraction It was theorized that the gravitational potential energy from the contraction of the sun could be its source of power. To calculate the total amount of energy that would be released by the Sun in such a mechanism assuming uniform density, it was approximated to a perfect sphere made up of concentric shells. The gravitational potential energy could then be found as the integral over all the shells from the center to its outer radius. Gravitational potential energy from Newtonian mechanics is defined as U equals minus G M one M two R display style U equals frac G M underscore one M underscore two R, where G is the gravitational constant, and the two masses in this case are that of the thin shells of width doctor, and the contained mass within radius R as one integrates between zero and the radius of the total sphere. This gives U equals minus G zero R M R four Pi R two Rho R D R Display style u equals g int underscore zero carrot r frac m r four pi r carrot two rho r doctor, where r is the outer radius of the sphere and m r is the mass contained within the radius r. Changing m r into a product of volume and density to satisfy the integral u equals minus g. Zero R four Pi R three Rho four Pi R two Rho three R D R equals minus sixteen fifteen G Pi two Rho two R five Display style U equals G int underscore zero carrot R frac four Pi R carrot three Rho four Pi R carrot two Rho three R Doctor equals frac sixteen fifteen G Pi carrot two Rho carrot two R carrot five Recasting in terms of the mass of the sphere gives the total gravitational potential energy as 
u equals minus 3 g m 2 5 r Display style u equals frac 3 g m caret 2 5 r. While uniform density is not correct, one can get a rough order of magnitude estimate of the expected age of our star by inserting known values for the mass and radius of the Sun, and then dividing by the known luminosity of the Sun. Note that this will involve another approximation, as the power output of the Sun has not always been constant. U R L approximately equals 1.1 times 10 41 J 3.9 times 10 26 W approximately equals 8 900 000 years Display style frac u underscore text r l underscore o dot approximately frac 1.1 times 10 carat 41 tilde text j 3.9 times 10 carat 26 tilde text w approximately 8 900 000 tilde text years, where l display style l underscore o dot is the luminosity of the sun. While giving enough power for considerably longer than many other physical methods, such as chemical energy, this value was clearly still not long enough due to geological and biological evidence that the Earth was billions of years old. It was eventually discovered that thermonuclear energy was responsible for the power output and long lifetimes of stars. <laughs> 